Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, want to do a quick tutorial to show you guys how you can transfer your audio over from uh, a handy seamless transition when you're doing the uh, dynamic link in Adobe Premiere. Uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do the dynamic link and everything. You probably already know if you've searched this video, um, and you're probably just trying to get the audio over from the sound effect. As you'll notice when you do the dynamic link and then you go over into After Effects, when you go back to Premiere, it doesn't play. There's the effect, but there's no sound. So, and if you know, if you use these transitions for the seamless transitions from that pack, um, you'll notice here it's got the sound effect so what we're gonna do I went to the website and um, they had kind of a different way to do this there, there's there's two ways okay if there one way is if you're not using a dynamic link you just put your clips into After Effects and then you render it out and then you take that video clip and put it back into Premiere then it'll it'll take the uh, two clips rendered with the sound effect that's one way but if you're using the dynamic link and you just want you know you want to go back and forth between after effects and premiere what you need to do is the website for the um, software I forgot the website but um, there was supposed to be like he showed where there was a separate audio file for the transition down here and, and I just don't see it so what I ended up doing um, is I just, if you highlight the, uh, or you click on the transition, and you hit Control C, and then you go back into Premiere, and then you hit, you got to go, this is kind of a half-assed way of doing it, but it works. You hit Control V, right? And then they're both together the highlighted click outside of it and now you can drag this top part out of there and you get rid of that and you kind of have to go back and match this up now with the transition so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go so we see the transition starts right here so I'm gonna go ahead and then you just drag that right to the beginning And there you go. So it's, I mean, it's not that big of a pain in the ass. Um, you saw I did it within like a minute, 30 seconds or something, you know. Um, I wish it would carry over. I don't know. If you know another way to do this, like if there's something I need to check or click in Premiere or After Effects to get that sound effects to come over with the transition, uh, go ahead and leave in the comments. Um, but if you don't, you know, if, if this helps, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. This is the way I figured out to do it. Um, and like I said, it, it's not that big of a deal, but it seems like it'd be easier if the audio came along with the transition into Premiere, so you wouldn't have to go through this extra step. But um, anyway, that's how you do it. So if you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe because I'll be doing I mainly do tutorials like this kind of like quick fixes for stuff I don't get too into depth with editing um, every now and then I might you know do a video of something I've learned and, and walk you through it or something then I watch a lot of tutorials too so that's how I learn a lot of the stuff I learned so um, other than that I'm out of here guys peace